There are so many good skin combos that you can use in Fortnite today, but we see so many people using the exact same combos. But in this video, guys, I'm going to show you 29 skin combos you need to own in Chapter 5. These are going to be not only some of the best skin combos of all time, but also some of the sweatiest skin combos that we have seen becoming popular in Chapter 5. And we are also going to be including some combos you guys have never seen before. So make sure you guys watch this entire video and let me know what your favorite combo is in the comments down below. Make Make sure to go down, hit the like and the subscribe button if you are new as well. But let's get started off with the Star Oakley skin and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. This is actually a really underrated combo. Star Oakley was just added to the game and this already looks like it could be one of the sweatiest looking skins for Chapter 5. I think it is also going to be one of those underrated skins. We probably won't see too many people using it just because it is so brand new. But if you guys are looking to use a skin that is going to make you guys stand out a lot, then this could be a really good one. It does have two different different styles as well. We sort of have a default style and then a more colorful pink edit style, which I think does look really clean. And that is obviously going to fit in with the star wand absolutely perfectly. Again, I don't think this is going to be the best combo that we see during chapter five and even during season one, but it is definitely one of the coolest ones we've seen so far. So I just had to include it on the list. One that has been very popular in Fortnite for such a long time though, would have to be the Mogul Masters. And we're pairing this with the Icebreaker. Now we have like eight different Mogul Masters in Fortnite, so there isn't really one edit style for these skins that you do want to use, but the downside of the Mogul Masters is that it isn't just one skin with a bunch of different styles. You have to buy each skin individually, which is probably the worst part about this. Each of these skins do cost 1,500 V-Bucks, so they are very expensive. They definitely could have made this one skin with a bunch of different styles, so I don't really know why they didn't do that, but again, I still feel like these are worth using in Fortnite today. Obviously, you don't want to buy eight styles of of pretty much the exact same skin. So if you are looking to only buy one or two different styles, then I would recommend something like the German Mogul Master and then maybe the Great Britain Mogul Master as well. I feel like these are just going to make you guys stand out a lot. We do see a lot of people using the Canadian Mogul Master because of Nick A30's influence. And there have of course been some other Mogul Master skins in the game as well, actually becoming quite popular. But I feel like the German and the Great Britain Mogul Master are just so underrated. Let's move on though to a combo that is a lot newer and this is Serenade and we're pairing this with the Love Lawn. Now even though I say this is a lot newer it is still actually quite old in Fortnite today. We have a bunch of skins that are being added every single week so whenever we include a skin that was added during an older chapter it just feels like it has been in the game for such a long time. Serenade is a really interesting skin though. It sort of has that chrome effect to it and we don't really see too many skins actually staying popular with this chrome effect. I feel like Fortnite could also add in some more edit styles for this that would make this skin even better. Obviously, the chrome effect was perfect during chapter three because we had an entire season based around the chrome effect. I feel like if Fortnite had have added in some more edit styles for this, maybe with a golden edit style or even a ruby or red edit style, it would have made it even better and would have helped this become even more popular in Fortnite today, but they just haven't done that yet. I feel like they could definitely do this in the future. It would make it stand out a lot more and would definitely be one of the more unique skins that we see in the game today. If you are looking to spend a bit more money, you could actually get the Gilded Elites bundle, which includes Lustrous Lux and Gunslinger Calamity, and we're going to be pairing this with the Gold Pro. There is also the Goldfish skin in this bundle as well, but I don't really feel like too many people have been using that combo so far, so I'm just not really going to talk about it in this video. I feel like Lustrous Lux and the Goldslinger Calamity, though, are much better skins. They look so, so clean and are definitely improvements on the original skins that they were based on. Lux was extremely popular popular during chapter one and also became one of the sweatiest skins in the game today, but Lustrous Lux just looks so, so clean. The Gunslinger Calamity is also an improvement on the original Calamity skin. Obviously, Calamity is one of the more controversial skins in Fortnite because of the jiggle feature, but Fortnite have obviously fixed that. And now with Gunslinger Calamity in the game, I feel like this is just one of the best skins that no one really seems to be using. Let's move on though to a much cheaper combo, and this is the Chaos Explorer with the Vision Pickaxe. The Chaos Chaos Explorer is just one of the cleanest looking skins that has been added to the game over the last few seasons. It is pretty much a remake of the Chaos Agent. It definitely could have been added in as an edit style for the Chaos Agent as well, but I'm still a huge fan of this, and they did also reduce the price of this so that this skin only costs 800 V-Bucks. The original Chaos Agent was so expensive at 1,500 V-Bucks, which was kind of silly considering there were only two styles, but if they had have added this in as an edit style, then it would have made it a little bit better. I still 
still feel like this is such a good skin to buy in the game today, and considering it is quite cheap, it just makes it even better. We don't really see too many people using male skins though, which might be the only thing holding this skin back. A lot of sweats do prefer to use female skins in Fortnite, and that is why we see a lot of female skins becoming extremely popular. One of those female skins though that has been a lot more tryhard would have to be Kaba, and we're pairing this with the Harley Hitter. I honestly feel like Kaba has started to drop off in Chapter 5. It was obviously extremely popular and tryhard during the end seasons of Chapter 4. It was just one of the newest highly customizable skins we had in the game, and had such a unique unique design like nothing we had ever seen before. You can actually customize this in so many different ways. We have had a few highly customizable skins in the past, but Caper took this to a new level. You can change around the colors of this. You can also add in stickers and emotes from your locker to add even more detail to them and change around the headgear as well, which I thought was a really cool touch. We don't see this with all of the highly customizable skins, and I feel like that just really separated this from a lot of the other skins. And since there wasn't really one edit style of caper that everyone was using, it also just added to how unique this skin actually was. Obviously, a bunch of different styles for a skin can sometimes be overwhelming, and it can actually be hard to pick which style you want to use. So if you are looking for a little bit more of a simplistic combo, then I feel like something like Festival Phaedra with the Vision Pickaxe might be a better choice. This is definitely one of the more underrated skins that we have in the game. I feel like not too many people even really know this skin exists. It has been in the game now for a few seasons, but I still really like the way it looks and I feel like it is a combo that you guys need to be using in chapter five. The vision is going to match it absolutely perfectly. It fits in with the color theme of this so, so perfectly, but if you don't own the vision or you don't like the way it looks, you can always swap this out for another pickaxe that does sort of have that darker color theme to it, like Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Another really good combo that we just have to mention is Solid Snake, and we are pairing this with the Slasher. This was just added to Fortnite. It is the secret battle pass skin in chapter five, season one, even though they aren't really secret battle pass skins anymore. More. We have known this pretty much since Chapter 5 started. It is a really clean skin though, and since it is brand new, I feel like this is definitely a good combo to start using today. We just don't see that many people using these secret Battle Pass skins, especially once that season ends, so I feel like this will be popular for the rest of Season 1, but we just don't know what it's going to be like moving forward in Chapter 5. The Slasher is going to match this skin absolutely perfectly. I feel like it fits in with the theme of this so, so well, and it is going to work with both edit styles of this skin, even though the two edit styles pretty much look identical. It might not match it as well as something like our next combo though, which is the Frozen Nog Ops, and we're pairing this with the Candy Axe. Now, this might seem like a little bit of an interesting combo to be including in this video, especially when we are pretty much in February, but I'm still a huge fan of this, and even though this is really known as a Winterfest combo, I still think it is worth using and owning in Fortnite today. The Frozen Nog Ops is available in the Polar Legends bundle, and you do have to pay around $30 in order to get this. You do get some other really cool skins in this as well though, which just adds to how good this bundle is, but I feel like the Frozen Nog Ops is by far the best skin. It is going to fit in with the Candy Axe perfectly because it looks like these items were designed together. It is also going to make you guys stand out a lot because even though this is extremely popular during Winterfest, now that we are pretty much in February, no one is going to be using this, and that just makes it even better in my opinion. This is a perfect combo for you guys to main today as well, and I feel like this has just been such a good skin ever since it was added to the game. It just doesn't reappear in the store that often, but one combo that does actually reappear quite often is going to be Padme, and we're pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Padme is a Star Wars skin, and it has been in Fortnite for a few seasons now, but it seems like it is only getting more and more tryhard and more popular every time it gets added to the store. None of the Star Wars skins have really become tryhard in Fortnite, but Padme looks like it might be one of the first ones to actually do it. We've seen a few pros and streamers actually starting to use this. I feel like it is only increasing in popularity as well, which just makes it even better. There are obviously some other better crossover skins that you could be using, but I feel like if you are a huge Star Wars fan like me, then this is just one of the best skins to use. We don't really have a bunch of good Star Wars pickaxes though, which is probably the only thing that holds this combo back, but honestly, I feel like the Scully Scepter fits in with this really well, and it is going to make it a very try-hard combo. If you do want to use a combo that is a little bit more well-known in the try-hard community though, then I feel like Echo and the 
Star Wand is going to be a much better choice. We have actually seen Echo becoming a lot more popular over the last few seasons. This is actually quite an old skin in Fortnite as it was first introduced during Chapter 2 Season 2, but I feel like a lot of people forget they even own this skin. It is so underrated, it is so well designed, and this is getting more and more edit styles every few months, which just makes it even better. It started off with two different styles that were pretty much the exact opposite of each other. They then added in some more colorful edit styles, which really added to how cool this skin was, and that is why I feel like the Star Wand is going to be the best choice for this. I feel like because it is known as one of the more tryhard combos on this list, though, it might not get the popularity of some of the other combos we have already talked about, or we are going to be talking about very, very soon, and one of those would have to be Aura, and we're pairing this with the Cold Snap. Aura has definitely been one of Fortnite's best ever skins. You can pick this up for 800 V-Bucks, and it was first introduced back during Chapter 1, Season 8. I think it is so insane that a skin that was added back during Chapter 1 is still so popular in Fortnite today. It is so well designed, it fits in with every single playstyle of Fortnite as well, regardless of if you are a tryhard player, a casual player, or just a brand new Fortnite player, chances are you are going to love the way this skin looks. We do now have three different styles for this skin as well. We got two styles when it was first added, and then we got a green and gold Ed style added during Chapter 3, which really added to how cool this actually was. Let's move on, guys, to the number 17 position, and we have the Surf Witch, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. I probably don't need to talk about this combo too much, because as you guys know, this has just been one of the most tryhard combos we have ever seen being added to the game, and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video right now already own this combo. The Surf Witch was added back during Chapter 2, Season 3. It was actually one of the most tryhard skins when it first got added, but I feel like over time, it has sort of dropped off in popularity, but it has still stayed as tryhard as pretty much any other skin in the game. We do see a lot of pros and streamers using this as well. I feel like this skin would really benefit from some more edit styles in Fortnite, so hopefully that does come to the game in the future. It fits in with the theme of the Star Wand perfectly. The colors match up so, so well, so if you guys are a fan of that pickaxe, then this is definitely going to be one of the best skins to use with it. Personally, though, I feel like there are some better skins that you can use, and one of them would have to be Glitch, and we're pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Glitch is one of the most highly customizable skins in the game that no one seems to be using. I don't know why this is so underrated. In my opinion, I feel like this is better than Caper, and maybe even better than the superhero skins, but I know a lot of people love those skins, so I won't talk about that too much. I just feel like Glitch has a really unique take on customizable skins. You can change around the color of this, you can change around the metallic accent on this skin, but also you can change around the main colors of this based on wraps or camos that are in your locker. This is a really cool touch. We haven't really seen this with any other skins in the game before, so I feel like that is a really cool feature, but this is just so overlooked and underrated in Fortnite that I had to include it on the list. The Leviathan Axe is perfect for this as well because it's going to fit in with every single edit style, but if you are looking for a combo that is even better than I feel like the Polo Prodigy and the Harley Hitter is just slightly better. Even though Glitch is an amazing skin, sometimes having that many customization options can actually be quite annoying, so something like the Polo Prodigy might be a better choice. This has actually been in the game for quite a while. This is pretty much a reskin of the Renegade Raider, but it is part of a Ralph Lauren collab. This was such an unexpected skin. I never thought we would ever get a collab like this in Fortnite, and now that it has been in the game for a while, I still think this is really clean. I was never really going to feature this on the channel again because I thought this skin had already been popular and probably wasn't going to gain much popularity back as we moved throughout Fortnite, but for some reason in Chapter 5, a lot of people have started to use this again. We do have two different styles for this skin. Obviously, the downside is that this probably doesn't return to the store as often as some of the other skins we're going to be talking about very, very soon, but it is still one of my favorite combos and definitely a combo that you guys need to buy. The Harley Hitter is just going to fit in with both styles so, so perfectly as well, which is why it is so clean. We are also going to be using this pickaxe with our next combo, and this is the Black Widow skin, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Now, for this, we are including both the Snowsuit Black Widow and the OG Black Widow skin as well. I feel like it's really hard to pick between the two. The OG Black Widow skin is a lot more rare, but now that this is featuring in the store a lot more often, we are still seeing more and more people using this every single day. I feel like from a skin design point of view, though, the original Black Widow skin might not be better than the Snowsuit Black Widow.
Kaido. I just feel like the color theme of that is so unique and so different to a bunch of other skins, and that is why it is my personal favorite. But again, it's really hard to pick between the two, and that is why we're including both the OG Black Widow and the Snowsuit Black Widow skin. The Holy Hitter matches him with both of them. You could always swap out this pickaxe to something like the Slasher, but the Harley Hitter is just one of my favorites, so I had to include these together. I feel like we haven't really talked about too many Battle Pass combos, though, so let's move on, guys, to Peter Griffin, and we're pairing this with the Scratcher. I mean, we had to include Peter Griffin with his very own pickaxe. I feel like this is definitely one of the more interesting pickaxes in the game, just because it is so unique. It is one of the first ever cell shaded pickaxes that has really gained a lot of popularity as well, which just adds to how cool this actually is. But Peter Griffin is definitely not known as a tryhard skin, but I just think this is one skin that everyone needs to be using. You can pick this entire combo up for 950 V-Bucks, which is so, so sick. I think it is such a good price. And obviously you get a bunch of other items in the battle passes as well. So it is definitely worth buying. My favorite edit style would have to be the fully golden edit style. I think it's so cool that we have a fully gold Peter Griffin in Fortnite. If 950 V-Bucks though is too expensive, then there is also a free combo that you could use. And this is going to be the Winterfest Bush Ranger, And we're pairing this with the Snow Globe Smasher. The one downside to this is that these items will probably never be available in Fortnite again. Usually what happens with these Winterfest themed items is that they come to the game for free during that Winterfest update. And once that update is over, they are never available again. We see this every single year though. So if you guys did miss out on the Winterfest Bush Ranger or the Snow Globe Smasher, then when Winterfest for 2024 comes around, you will be able to get some free items again, but they will obviously just be different. I still really like the way these items look together though. It is a very Christmas themed combo, which again can be really, really cool, but it just probably won't be popular for much longer in Fortnite. One combo that definitely will be popular for a while though would have to be Summon Seeker Eevee, and we're pairing this with the Candy Axe. Summon Seeker Eevee is one of the best skins we've seen being added in Chapter 5. This has actually been leaked for a while, but it took a few weeks for Fortnite to actually add this to the game. It is one of my favorite skins we have seen pretty much in the entire history of Fortnite. It is a remake of the Eevee skin that was part of a battle pass in Chapter 3, and in my opinion, this is even better. I feel like Fortnite really does some remake skins really, really well. Summon Seeker Eevee would be probably the best remade skin we have ever seen, which is so, so sick. This might take a while for it to be featured in the store again, though. It is just such an underrated skin, and by pairing this with the Candy Axe, it is just going to look so good, and this is definitely a combo that I recommend every single one of you needs to own in Chapter 5. I'm really interested to see if this does stay popular or try hard in the future, but one combo that has actually become quite try hard in Chapter 5 is Eleven, and we're pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Eleven was added to the game during Season OG, it was probably one of the more unexpected collabs. This is obviously a collab with Stranger Things, and we had a Stranger Things collab back during Chapter 1, but these items had only featured in the store once, and we hadn't seen them again pretty much since Chapter 1. This included the Demogorgon and a Chief Hopper skin, but now that they have reappeared in the store with the Eleven collab, I feel like those skins also have gained a little bit more popularity. We have seen a bunch of pros and streamers using Eleven though, I feel like the test level lab edit style is the more popular one, but still default 11 does look really clean. It is kind of hard to find a pickaxe that is going to fit in with this. We have seen people using the star wand, but personally, I feel like the vault guardian matches in with every single style of this just a little bit better. Another skin that has been added to the game over the last few weeks though would have to be April O'Neil, and we are pairing this with the banana splitter. Both of these items are some of the newest in the game. April O'Neil was only added a few weeks ago with the Ninja Turtles collab, and even though this was one of the biggest meme collabs in Fortnite, I feel like April O'Neil has actually become quite a try-hard skin. April O'Neil does look really clean. It looks a lot different to every other skin we've seen in Fortnite as well. I feel like what made this even better as well is that no one was really expecting this to come to the game. Obviously, we knew the Ninja Turtles collab was going to be coming to the game when Chapter 5 started, but no one really expected April O'Neil to be added with this. Because this skin is mostly yellow with the tracksuit or the jumpsuit as well, it can be hard to find a pickaxe that also fits in with this, but I feel like the banana splitter does a really
really good job. This was the pickaxe that came to the game with the Adventure Peely skin, which was also really clean. But honestly, I feel like it fits in so much better with April O'Neil. Let's move on though, guys. And next up, we have Hope, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Hope is one of the best Battle Pass skins we've seen in a really long time, and you guys can pick this up 950 V-Bucks. I feel like it is the tryhard skin from this season's Battle Pass. We always see at least one skin becoming quite tryhard in Fortnite, and then it doesn't really stay popular for too long, but I feel like Hope could definitely stay popular over the next few seasons. It just has a really cool default style. The more edit styles you unlock as well just improves this skin. All of the color styles are so unique, and sometimes we do get Battle Pass skins that have edit styles that all look identical, but I feel like Hope changes this around a lot, which is really clean. But obviously, there are going to be some better combos that we have to mention, like the Agency Renegades bundle, and we are pairing these with the Harley Hitter. Similar to the Gilded Elites bundle, there was three skins in this. We had Shady Zadie and Spy Catcher Siren, and then a skin that no one has ever really used, which was the Cobalt Style. Shady Zadie and Spy Catcher Siren are two of the best skins to use, though. They are remakes of the original Zadie and Siren skin, and in my opinion, they have just made them even better. We have started to see a few pros and streamers like Booga and Faceway using these over the last few weeks as well, which is really only helping increase the popularity of these skins. But since they were part of a bundle, I just feel like they won't become as popular as some of the other skins we're going to be talking about very, very soon. We did also get pickaxes in this bundle as well, but I just feel like the Harley Hitter is still going to be the best choice for this. It matches in with all of the edit styles and just improves upon how good these skins actually are. We also haven't really mentioned too many male skins for a while though, so let's move on to John Wick and we are pairing this with Wick's Katana. Now I know sometimes you guys do get annoyed if we are pairing a skin with the pickaxe that it was designed for, but since John Wick sort of has two pickaxes that aim with it, I feel like we had to include at least one of them and Wick's Katana is definitely one of the best. It is also one of the newest pickaxes in the game. You can pick it off for only 500 V-Bucks, which is even better and it's pretty much going to fit in with every single skin in your locker. John Wick is actually quite an old skin. We saw this being added back towards the end of chapter one, but it just got two brand new edit styles to celebrate the fourth John Wick movie. And these styles just look so, so clean. I've actually been using this skin a bunch over the last few weeks. I think it is really clean, but since it is a collab skin, it might not feature in the store as much as some of the other skins we're going to be talking about, like Hannah and the Leviathan Axe. Obviously, regular item shop skins can feature in the store a lot more often. And honestly, I feel like Hannah is just one of the best item shop skins we have seen over the last few years. Again, it is a highly customizable skin. As you guys can probably tell, I'm a huge fan of these highly customizable skins, but Hannah just looks so, so clean. It reminds me a lot of skins like the F1 skins and Pit Stop as well, where you can take the helmet on or off, and you can just change around the glowing effect for this as well, which just looks really clean. And since there are just so many different color styles that you can use, if you don't like one or two different styles, there are still like five or six other styles that you can choose from, which just makes this even better. It is obviously quite expensive coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, but I still feel like it is definitely worth buying in Fortnite to date. The Leviathan Axe is just going to fit in with every single style, which makes it even better, and obviously just makes it so that you don't have to use a different pickaxe with every single style. There is one customizable skin though that has just been a lot better, and this is going to be the superhero skins, and we're pairing this with Yennefer's Megascope. The superhero skins are just one of the best set of Fortnite skins we are ever going to see. You can actually buy a few different superhero skins, but I don't know why you ever would because they are pretty much the exact same. The only thing that really changes with these is if you take the mask off, then obviously the face is going to be different and the hairstyles are different as well. Regardless though, whichever edit style you end up picking up for these superhero skins, it is going to be the right choice. They all look so clean. All of the edit styles are extremely sweaty as well. And I feel like what is really cool about these is that people are now starting to get really creative with them and use some different color styles that we haven't seen people using before. Yennefer's Megascope is a really simplistic pickaxe as well, so it is going to fit in with every single style, and I feel like that just makes this one of the best pickaxes to use. That takes us though, guys, to the number three position, and we have Siren, and we're pairing this with the Icebreaker. Siren was actually added to the game before the superhero skins, which is so crazy to think about. These are added back to the game in Chapter 2, Season 2, so they are definitely some of the older skins on this list, but they are still by far one of the best skins we are ever going to see. We now have three different styles for this. We have the default style, we have the noir edit style, and we have an updated racing edit style, which is a red and black color style. I feel like this is by far the best color theme for this. It looks so, so clean. 
screen and since it was just added to the game it is just going to be so popular i feel like this is the best edit style to use in my opinion it is also going to fit in with the icebreaker but so is every single edit style of this skin which is why i'm pairing the icebreaker with this since it has just been in the game for such a long time, I don't really need to talk about it too much. So let's move on to another combo, and this is Silas Hesk, and we are pairing this with Wix Katana. Now, Silas Hesk was the Fortnite crew bundle for January, so even though we have a brand new Fortnite crew skin now in the game, I still feel like I had to include it on the list. I love the way Silas Hesk looks, and we are going to be getting brand new styles for this added to the game over the next few months as well, as long as you guys are subscribed to the Fortnite crew bundle. This basically costs $10 a month you get a free skin you get a thousand v bucks a free pickaxe and a battle pass for free so i definitely think it is worth buying but these skins never really stay popular for too long but if you guys have been subscribed to the fortnite crew bundle for a while you will just get more and more skins every single month which makes these so much better i'm a huge fan of silas hairs i think it is the best fortnite crew bundle we've seen in a really long time but it still isn't good enough to come in at the number one position and that is because we have to include reverie and the star wand Reverie is the starter pack skin for Chapter 5 Season 1. It does set you back $5, which is pretty much nothing. It is such an amazing skin. It only has one edit style though, which is probably the downside to this, but it is literally the perfect skin for the Star 1 pickaxe. It matches in with the color theme absolutely perfectly, and this skin is only going to become more and more rare in the future, because once Season 1 ends, this is never going to be available again. So if you guys are a fan of this, make sure to pick it up in the store pretty much right now. If you are going to be buying this as well, make sure you use code KyroYT when you are buying it to help out the channel. But there you guys go. That is my list for 29 skin combos you need to own in Chapter 5. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and click on the video on your screen now.